It's the last stand. And here is your host, Brian Custer. What's up, NFL fans? You know, the season is starting to heat up. Big plays, even bigger wins. This video is being sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL. And I'm here to tell you, we got an exciting offer for you. New customers, you can bet just $5. You get 200 in bonus bets just like that. And DraftKings customers, you can also get skin in the game with the same game parlays. You can combine multiple bets from the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers, use my promo code, The Last Stand. Bet just $5 on any wager, you get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Use the promo code Last Stand only at DraftKings Sportsbook. That's right. It is The Last Stand. I'm Brian Custer. We bring you the biggest names in the sport. And joining me today is a former world champion, the welterweight division. He's the former WBA welterweight champion of the world. Your Dennis Ugas is back with us on The Last Stand. How are you, your Dennis? Hi. No, I'm good. Good. I'm ba- I'm, uh, everything good. Yeah, I love it. Now, listen, folks. We got Martin Bader with us. who will do translation. But... Your Dennis Ugas tells me he's been watching The Last Stand, and he's going to try to do this one in English. Am I correct? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I give me a, Brian, you, you, my journalist, my favorite journalist. Favorite journalist. Favorite journalist. I, I, I have watched every day for the last year. You've watched The Last Stand every day the for last, last year? The Last Stand, yeah. Really? Every, uh, Every day. I love Every it. Day. God dang You see, I love me some of your Dennis Ugas. Okay, so let's talk about it. You had this fight with Mario Barrios. How important was this fight to your career? Esta pelea lo es todo para mí. Todo el mundo sabe de la última pelea, 16 meses. Esta pelea es para demostrar que sigo en la élite de boxeo. This fight means everything to me. Everyone knows what happened 16 months ago, my last fight. So this fight is for me to prove that I'm still among boxing's elite. You know, it's interesting because we saw the face, you know, the orbital bone. How tough was the rehab to get back to be 100% healthy? No, eh, sí, todo el mundo vio la lesión esa noche, una lesión grave, tuve cirugía, tuve muchos meses... Eh, viendo, viendo doble presión en el ojo, eh, pero no, hemos sanado y ahora estamos, estamos 100%, gracias a Dios, 100% con salud para regresar el sábado. Everyone saw what the injury was like. It was bad. It required surgery. I had double vision at times. I felt crushing pressure in my eyes, but we powered through and now we're fully healed, I 100% and ready to fight on Saturday night. And so, how much was this fight? about showing the critics, I'm back. Uh, and I'm still an elite fighter at the welterweight division. No, es muy importante para mí. Esta pelea, como te dije, es todo porque todo el mundo está esperando. Dime el ojo, Ua, cómo está. Dime 37 años, qué va a hacer el Ua. Y pienso que nos preparamos la manera correcta y el sábado para estar 100% el sábado. I can't stress this enough. This fight is everything to me. Everyone keeps asking me, Ugas, how's the eye? Ugas, you're 37. How are you going to deal with that? So the plan is to go out there on Saturday night and just prove the critics wrong. Mm. When you look at the welterweight division, what, what other big fights are out there for you? Obviously, Terrence Crawford's the undisputed champ. Yes. But what other fights do, do you see Thurman? Do you see Boots Ennis yeah. as possible opponents? All, all, all my focus in the fight, uh, I got my obajo, uh, but I, all my focus in the fight. At the fight, I always, I, 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 I fight the best with the way, but all my focus in the fight, I got my Got it. And, and so then, what happened? Because, obviously, you fought Barrios. But what happened to Thurman? At one point, it, it was your Dennis Ugas is going to fight Keith Thurman. And that is setting – what happened? Why did Keith Thurman not want to fight with your Dennis Ugas? I don't know. I don't know, Thurman. Uh, I don't know I don't know what happened to Thurman. Okay. But I was training to fight with Thurman. I was training. At the moment, I said, no, ya no va la pelea. I was going to fight Eh, pero mucho respeto a Barrio, un campeón del mundo, un campeón igual que yo, pero no sé qué pasó. 
I honestly don't know what happened. I was training to fight Thurman, and then one day they were like, no, you're fighting Barrios. And all respect for Barrios for taking this fight, by the way. It's just that one day, from one day to another, it was like, okay, you're fighting Barrios. And I was like, okay, I guess that changed. Mm. What do you think about Keith Thurman? We, we've talked to, like, Boots Ennis, and we've talked to Bud Crawford, and they all say this guy talks a lot but doesn't really want to fight. What do you think about Keith Thurman? Butcher Thurman. Butcher Thurman is Thurman. De últimos cuatro años, Alan peleado una vez con Tabajo. Es de los mejores pesos huertes del mundo de los últimos años, pero el talento lo ha tirado a la basura. Habla más, he visto más, más entrevistas que pelea. I have seen more interviews done by Thurman than fights fought by Thurman. He has fought only one opponent, Barrios, in the past four years. And it's a shame because he was one of the best welterweights in the world, and I feel like he's throwing his career in the trash because of the, you know, like more talk than fighting. I, I, I won his combat because he, he, he's a still uh, one of the best way the way in the world. Mm. But, you want uh, him to come back? You want uh, him to come? What about Boots Ennis? Could you, could you envision yourself fighting Boots Ennis? 100%, eh, todo el mundo sabe, los últimos siete años he luchado contra Poite, contra Spain, contra Pacquiao, son de los mejores pesos huertes del mundo. Estaba luchando ahí, Duló, me Figueo, allá en Manjén. Eh, yo quiero luchar contra los mejores. Eh, pienso que he demostrado lo que soy. Él tiene que demostrar, eh, luchar contra campeones, luchar contra eso. Y 100%. Él quiere wants to fight against the champions, right? Look at my resume. I fought against Porter, Spence, Pacquiao, Dolorme, James. I mean, and the list goes on. For the past seven years, I only fought against the best. So I respect the fact that Ennis wants to fight against the best, and I will be 100% willing and able to face off against him in the ring. Mm. We, we, we open fight Ennis. Anyway, eh, eh, como que estamos listos, estamos abiertos a pelear con Ennis. We're ready to fight Ennis. Name the place, name the time. Wow. Um, were you surprised? how much Terence Crawford dominated Errol Spence. ¿Te sorprendió como Yo pienso, a mí no, a todo el mundo quedó sorprendido. Pienso que ellos dos están más cerca de lo que pasó esa noche. Pienso que Spence merece una revancha. Es un gran campeón todavía. I think that Spence uh, deserves a rematch because he's still a, a great champion. But, you know, all things considered, that night I think surprised everybody. You're a fighter, so you know. You know, I've heard people say Spence just didn't look right. He didn't have the legs. Um, he didn't look like the same guy who fought you. Do you think he stayed at 147 one fight too long? Um, was it a fight when you looked at him? Did he look weight drained? Um, or was Bud Crawford just that much better? Pienso que, eh, pienso que, con, eh, que peluchó contra mí era un mejor peleado y se veía más fuerte. Aún así, Esa noche luchaban dos de los mejores pesos huertes del mundo, dos de los mejores peleadores de todo el deporte, y ganó el mejor. Que fue Crafo, no quiero quitarle nada. Crafo fue el mejor y el mejor, ahora mismo el mejor peleador del deporte. There's two different things going on here. Spence, when he fought against me, he looked in better shape, he looked stronger. Having said that, I'm not about to take anything away from Bud Crawford because the fact remains that when the fight happened, Spence and Crawford were the two best welterweights in the world, and that was the fight that had to happen. And then Bud Crawford did his thing. So all credit to him for getting that win. Mm. Do you think it would be any different at 154? The outcome will be any I, different. I, I, I think uh, 154, Spence Crawford, he, he's, he's the best fight. Mm. He's the best fight 154, I think. It, it would be a better fight at 154 it's, for Spence. 200%. Okay. 200%. Got it. Okay. And so now when you look at the welterweight division, Obviously, Crawford's undisputed champ. Do you see yourself being a champion again yeah. at welterweight? Eh, no, pues, pues, o sea, si, si, te ves, si te ves siendo campeón de vuelta en el peso welter, considerando que quizás Crawford se va de la división. Yeah. ¿no? Eh, estamos eh, el sábado, tenemos la pelea, ganar el campeonato interino. Eh, después luchamos con, con el que esté disponible y que acá fue haga lo que queda. Yo voy a seguir enfocado en tratar de buscar el mejor hombre para pelear contra mí. Let Crawford do whatever he wants. He has earned the right to do so. I'm focused on fighting on Saturday, getting the interim title, 
and then we go from there. Mm -hmm. I'm willing and able to fight any opponent that comes my way on my way back. But hello, 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 I understand you, clean, clean, clean. You understand? Okay. I got you, I got you. But do you see yourself as world champion at 147 in the future or at 154? No, no, one, 147. Wait, 147. 147. I, I, now uh, 147 is laying uh, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Suga Fellionan, uh, Marvin Hagley. Hagley, no? Uh, laying, laying 147 is, is, the, is the vision, is toy, is toy division. Yeah. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a historic division. Okay. Like, like, yeah, like okay. basically, yeah. Like I got it. I, got I love, it. I love, you, I love wait the way. I love wait the way. I love. You love welterweight. You want to stay at one forty seven. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. yeah. yeah you you make weight okay at one forty seven. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, no, okay. no problem for you at one forty seven. No, no, it's okay. How much longer do you want to fight? ¿Qué tan, qué tan, por qué tiempo más quieres pelear? Oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I every fight now is very important, but because. Oh, fine, no, fight, fight, Leo a Leo, stay by stay, Leo a Leo, stay by stay. Oh, so every fight you say is important for you? Yeah, every fight important, every he can, oh, bless you, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you, thank yeah. you, because very important for me, every fight now, I Leo by Leo, Leo by Leo, stay by stay. Um, it, it, you, your story is so amazing, escaping from Cuba. Yeah. If you could sum it up for them, and I know you probably have to say it in Spanish, but how you escaped, how many times you tried, yeah. and how close to death did you come when you tried to get here to the to the United States? Oh, eh, para escapar de Cuba no fue fácil. Tuve seis veces tratando de escapar de Cuba. Tuve preso en Cuba, pero yo no. Son miles de cubanos que pasamos por la misma situación para poder llegar a la libertad. Look, it wasn't easy to escape from Cuba. I had to escape six times and able to make it. And I was in jail. And, but I'm not the only one. There's thousands of people that try to escape from Cuba each and every single day. I was, it was nine years until I could see my mom again. Wow. Keep in mind, I'm her only kid. Hmm. But it was all worth it because I wanted to achieve my goal of being a world champion. And look at me, I did it. Free men, world champion. Free men, a world champion. Free men, on believe it, campeón del mundo. Oh, free man. Free and man. A free man. So, free, free man, free man, and man a world champion. Free man and a world free champion. Man, okay. You are very outspoken about Cuba, yeah. and, and, and tell me why. Tell me why you have always feel the need yeah. to get in front of the public and explain, hey, look, there are other people who are uh, political prisoners yeah. and need to be free. Tell me why you feel like you always need to do that. Yeah, no, eh, eh, muy emocionado. Yo peleo, mi, millones de cubanos me ven. El día que peleo yo, estos son algunos de los casi mil pesos políticos que tenemos en nuestro país. Look, to me, the fact that I get to represent millions of people and I get to show this T-shirt right here, which, which shows some of the thousands of political prisoners, then that means everything to me. It's not just about the fight. They, they sent me a message wishing me luck for Saturday's fight. Y el sábado lo voy a tener en mi chor, van a, van a estar peleando junto conmigo. Yo estoy peleando por, por, su, por un mensaje, libertad para Cuba, libertad para los pesos políticos. I fight with a message and a conviction. I want freedom for Cuba and freedom for the political prisoners. And that's why I'm going to have them in my trunks on Saturday night. You're going to see them featured there. Hey, Brian, look, look, look. I, I am former world champion and I, I am main and leader of my Cuban community. Mm. Always. Always, always. The, 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 El mayor honor de mi vida, ¿no? El mayor honor de mi vida. It's the greatest honor of my life. Wow. Yeah. Here's, and I, I've, I've said this before. This is why I love you, Dennis Ugas. Yeah. Because from the beginning, when I was doing and broadcasting fights, uh, and they, they were, let's say, about, you know, guys coming up. We would see each other. We'd be, it'd be Biloxi, Mississippi. We would be in the smallest of towns. Do you remember? Yes. Me? Oh, my and God. You would, take, you would take a fight on two days' notice, fly in. What, what, seven, uh, 2017, 
April 25, one day. One day hey, and flew in and fought and won. Yeah, yeah. And I just kept watching. I said, man, I love this guy. We would be in the gym in the morning <laughs> working out. And then you would <laughs> fight, yes. You would yeah. fight later that day. And I said, I love this guy. And now I was so proud when you became a world champion because it was like I saw this guy from the bottom and here he is at the top of the game. And it was it, it gave me so much pride. Eh, ha sido un viaje largo, eh, un viaje largo eh, y estoy muy orgulloso de estar aquí. Eh, lo conozco desde el primer día a usted y estoy ahora tan contento, tan orgulloso de poder estar aquí. Este es mi, mi programa favorito. Yeah. Uh, you've been here with me since the first day and I'm so proud to be able to do this with you and enjoy this moment with you. I've, I've already said, your show is my favorite show, but the fact that we went through this long journey together and it has the, brought us to where we are, that means a lot to me. I, 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 I'm here, this is a dream. <laughs> this, 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 this. Let's say, we'll wrap it up with this. I want you to tell the people yes. why your Dennis Ugas is still an elite fighter, yes. and why he will be world champion again. Oh, eh, el sábado, todas las preguntas legítimas que tiene mucha gente, el sábado la vamos a responder. Tuvimos un gran campo, no hay excusa. El sábado van a ver la mejor yo de ninguna posible. No excuses, all questions will be answered on Saturday night. We had a great training camp. Now it's time to put it all on the line and to show the best possible version of your Dennis Ugas. I love it. Listen. I love you. I love you, and I wish you nothing but the best, and I can't wait to see you with that belt around your waist again. God willing, on Saturday, I, I, fight, I, I love fight Porte, WBC. I love fight Spain, WBC. This two times. Uh, in three, because I, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm excited for that fight. I agree, and healthy, and that's the important Yeah, now, very important, I, I, uh, I'm... Very important, uh, okay, I still want all the best one, one, uh, with the way of the world. Okay. But Saturday yeah. is proof. Come on, say. You're going to prove. It, you know, you're going to prove why you're the best in the world. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Folks, that's what we do here on The Last Stand. We bring you the biggest names in the sport. And when you talk about the welterweight division, you're Dennis Ugas right there at the top. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again next week.